guys so if y'all have seen my videos before you know that I go dumpster diving and um, I do some thrift stores finds I do some other stuff that I would want to get into but I haven't been doing a lot of videos here lately I'm gonna try to start doing a video like this every week or so so that you guys can see what I'm actually doing with all the items that I find or get and how much I sell them for or what I'm doing with them so this time um, I'm gonna be telling you like the store that I got it from or where I found it and how much I bought it for or if I bought it for anything at all. And so this time for May 2nd and May 8th, I made $700, I mean $574.25 and then I had net sales of $349.22. So then the first items that sold were these Javalia, um, they're just no brew coffee. And I actually bought these for like 10 cents a piece and because they were going out of date, and the store sold them for like 10 cents a piece. So I paid um, 22 of them actually sold in this within this week. And I paid $2.20 for those. I sold them each for $2 a piece. So 22 times the two and then plus the shipping. So $44 and I paid $2.20 for those. The uh, next one is actually pretty interesting. So these Squishmallows, um, they're really getting popular. And I walked into a local Dollar Tree and I found these guys, a whole bin of these guys, um, Unicorn, the Owl, a couple of different ones. And I actually sold two of these within this week. I sold one for $12 offer and one for $16 total at full price. What I was asking. So I got those for a dollar a piece and sold one for 12 and one for 16. The next item is going to be these Ortho Tree and Shrub Concentrate Insect Killers. Um, so I know it says nine dollars, but I took best offer of six dollars on two of those. So I told, sold two for twelve dollars, and I got these free out of a dumpster. I found um, a lot of them. I'm not sure how many, maybe like thirty of them in total. The next item is a Disney Ducktales uh, mystery figure, and I got this out of a dumpster. I got two of them actually, and so um, I've sold the one for five dollars in this week so nothing in it and i sold it for five this guy is a hot wheels battle velocitor motorized vehicle um i actually had this for a long time i think i got it as a gift or something when i was young and it was in my parents house so i didn't pay anything for it and i had it in a yard sale and after the yard sale i actually cleared out a bunch of stuff that i was going to put on ebay to sell and this was in the box of stuff to list on ebay I listed it for the 15 and it sold for the 15. So that one's zero dollars spent and I got $15 returned for it. Uh, the next item, so I don't even know, Chibi Vampire Paperbacks. I'm not really sure how you say that. Chibi, Chibi. But I got these out of the a thing called the a free bin. So where I live, there's a place called Second and Charles. And if you're not familiar, you can uh, Google Second and Charles and see what they are. But basically, they buy books, CDs, DVDs, and stuff like that. And the free bin is where people put stuff that they will not accept, where Second Charles is not going to accept them to buy back from them. So they have the buyback service, and people can bring stuff in. And I found these, this five set of books in there. So I paid $0 for these, and I sold them for $20, best offer of $20 from $25. All right, so here's another one of those Squishmallows. This one is the unicorn. Like I said, I got these for a dollar and I sold this one for 20 bucks. So it's a $20 or $19 profit. So this guy I picked up from my local thrift store. Um, I want to say I paid $3, maybe $4. I think $4. I paid $4 for this and it was brand new in the, in the box. I think I had it listed for maybe 35 and I accepted a best offer of 28. So I made a pretty good little profit there, and it was actually brand new in the box. So there's that one. 
This guy I also found in my local thrift store. It's just a you know brass desk weight moose. And I got this from the thrift store for two dollars. I had it listed for fifty. I have some other ones. I have a um a ram and two deer and then two deer bookends all made out of brass and I have them all listed for fifty dollars a piece. I have the deer in a set for $100, and I have the deer bookends in a set for $100. And I took a best offer of $35 from $50 on this, and I paid $2 for him at the thrift store. This is another thrift store find. So it's a Jet Spa luxury bath, and basically you hang it on the side of your bath, and it makes any bath into like a jacuzzi or a Jet Spa or whatever you want to call it. And I actually paid $7 for this one at the thrift store and as you can see I sold it for a best offer of 90. I had it originally listed for 110 I think and I list I sold it for the best offer of 90. So pretty good little profit here with this one. So this Snuggie I actually went to a um, garage sale. I forgot to mention I will be going to garage sales and picking stuff up from time to time too. So I got this from a garage sale and I actually just got a whole lot of stuff together and just you know, kept adding to it and telling the person that, okay, what am I at? What am I at? What am I at? And since it was the end of the day, she gave me everything for half off. She had the Snuggie marked for $5. So I was looking at it and I realized it was brand new in the package. Um, it's never been used. And the extra bonus item, which is just a book light, was actually inside of it as well. Like I said, brand new, never used. So I went ahead and bought it. I paid $2.50 for it and I sold it for $18. And last but not least, I bought this from the same person, the same yard sale, and I paid 50 cents for this one. It was on a shelf for a dollar. And this is a towel rack, American Standard Williamsburg 24 inch towel rack. And I actually listed this the day I got it, or the day after I got it from the yard sale for the $30, as you can see here and it sold the very next day. So got this sold for $30. So if we go back to the very beginning, we have the $574 total sales, the $350 profit, and net sales I mean. And then here you can see all the different sales that I just mentioned and told you guys about. So yeah, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Um, let me know if this is something that's going to interest you guys, if, if you think that y'all will like these videos. And also let me know if you want me to go back and show you more of what I sell so that you can get an idea of like what you should be looking on the lookout for and what you can sell and what you can't sell. So like, for instance, if I was going to show you from this video what to be on the lookout for, anything brass desk animals, brass, anything made out of metals, certain metals like... Um, a brass animal or desk weight or like a silver animal or silver desk weight, stuff like that. For whatever reason, that sells really well. So if you can get those for like one or two bucks a piece, go, I would buy those. Brand new items, these three down here at the bottom are all brand new items. If you can find brand new items, the four, here's another brand new item, at a garage or, or a thrift store for low price, like I said, 50 cents, 250, $7.00. Yeah, the $7 is kind of steep for a thrift store, but you can look that stuff up and see how much you can sell it for. So like I said, you buy stuff like that. You want to be on the lookout for brand new items, stuff like that. The Squishmallows, I just got lucky. Um, I just know what they're worth and knew that they're worth way more than a dollar when I went into the dollar store. So I bought all those that they had. I actually bought 27 of them. So like I said, if you guys want to see you know, more videos like this, let me know. Um, I really appreciate you guys that are still with me. I know that I haven't been doing videos in a long time. I'm going to start trying to get more videos put out. I know that I'm going to be doing more of these. I'm going to be trying to do some more dumpster diving. But yeah, I mean, let me know if there's other stuff you want to see. I'm going to try to do some metal detecting. going to try to do some magnet fishing. Um, let's see, what else? Thrift store hunting and garage sale hunting and even claw machines. And there will be stuff on here that I sell from claw machines that I tell you guys. And I'll basically tell you how much I paid for them because of how many times it took me to win it from the claw machine. But for the most part, I just get stuff out of the claw machine and then turn right about around and sell it. So thanks for watching guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next video.